I'm excited to present a resolution recognizing Florida's 500th anniversary. I'd like to ask Secretary of State Ken Dutchner and his guests to join us at the podium for this resolution. It was 500 years ago this year that um, Ponce de Leon, Juan Ponce de Leon, landed here and named this great land La Florida. Predating the British settlement of Jamestown, Virginia by 94 years, I'm sure we're also before Texas somehow, starting with Ponce de Leon's arrival in 1513, Florida became the place where cultures unite to form the great nation we know today as the United States of America. Florida has been America's historic port of entry for trade and for European and South American businesses. We are the gateway to the Americas and it's important that we continue to make trade more accessible for international businesses. Viva Florida 500 is a once in a lifetime opportunity to reposition and expand the perception of Florida by highlighting 500 years of history an unmatched cultural diversity. Our residents should look upon this significant milestone as a time to recognize and celebrate our diverse culture. And we should seize this opportunity to educate ourselves and our children on our state's his important history. Vis visitors should look upon this historic anniversary as an opportunity to stay an extra day and explore a new part of Florida. I encourage Florida citizens to participate in Viva Florida 500 events and activities as we recognize the important role of Florida has played in the history of our nation's beginning in 1513. I hereby move the resolution. Is there a second? Second. <coughs> Moved and seconded to show the resolution approved without objection. Secretary Detchner, would you like to say a few words? Yes, Governor. Thank you, members of the Cabinet. Good morning. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm pleased to present a brief, some brief comments about uh, Viva Florida 500 this morning. And for those in the audience and those viewing, uh, people ask, what is Viva Florida 500? Uh, Viva Florida 500 is a statewide commemoration in 2013 of Florida's people, places, and events dating back to Juan Ponce de Leon's arrival in La Florida in 1513, as you said, Governor. It's a teachable moment uh, and a marketing opportunity to highlight 500 years of history and cultural diversity, a claim that no other state can make. It's a grassroots effort, uh, and for example, in 2011, we had, the State Department had five partners. In 2013, we have over 1,400 partners from throughout the state of Florida. Currently, there are 200 major uh, events being planned around the state, and every county in the state of Florida will be hosting some type of VIVA event, and many counties uh, will have multiple events. Partnerships are the key, the key to having a successful commemoration this year. And the partnerships we have with our state agencies, I can tell you, are fantastic. Uh, I think within the first week of coming on board at the State Department last February, uh, Visit Florida and the Lottery stepped forward and said, we want to do whatever we can to help uh, commemorate and market uh, uh, the events. So Visit Florida uh, is, is providing PSAs, advertising, content marketing, public relations support work for the State Department, uh, and social media. The Florida Lottery, uh, we have a new scratch-off game and a Second Chance interactive uh, video that goes along with that featuring 300 historic sites. If you haven't seen or bought a ticket yet, I encourage everyone to go out and buy more than one. This is my second one. Uh, it was interesting when I bought this last night on the way home, the cashier said, oh, that's a fun ticket. She said, well, I didn't win any money. I got a chance to tear off the back and send in my coupon for the possibility of winning an automobile. So please, uh, if you need a car or if you don't, buy some tickets. Um, the Florida Department of Transportation, another great partner that we have, has developed some signage for us. I'll show you an example of that, uh, that they're putting out at historic sites, uh, welcome centers throughout the state of Florida. Department of Agriculture is a great partner for us. They have traveling exhibits. The state fair this year is being rebranded of Viva Florida, looking forward to being down there for the cabinet meeting, uh, and they have university forums that they're conducting about the importance of agriculture uh, and the history of agriculture in Florida. Uh, here's an example of, again, the, the ticket from the Florida Lottery. We're excited about that. The secretary told me this morning that tickets are going very well. She hopes to have some reports on ticket sales later today. Here's an example of the Department of Transportation's signage. In fact, I saw one driving in right in front of the Capitol this morning. So thank you to the Department of Transportation for your partnership. Uh, it's most appreciated. 
Uh, other state partners include the Department of Business Regulation, Professional Regulation. They've included their logos on all licenses, websites, and they have an e-newsletter that they're uh, branding with the Viva Florida logo. The Florida Humanities Council, again, one of our greatest superstars in the uh, Viva sponsorship. Uh, they have the Forum Magazine. If you haven't seen this, they've produced two publications now for us. Uh, it's widely publicized. It's actually saved us at the Department of State a lot of money. It's really become kind of our brand uh, publication for us. So Humanities Council is also producing PSAs on the Florida history moments. Uh, they've done some radio spots. I think some of the cabinet members have been involved with that. As I said, the Forum Magazine. Uh, they have a teachingflorida.org website, and they did an educational tour uh, last year in Spain. Espana Florida Foundation 500 uh, is a Florida businesses uh, of which, with bases in Spain. Uh, they're doing business ex expos, uh, special events, and educational programs. And Florida DEP and the Parks Service has been also a fantastic partner for us. Uh, some of the highlighted events, uh, Expedition 500 statewide is a young man that's paddling a paddleboard around the state over the next six months. Uh, started in Pensacola on January 1st. Should be in the St. Mark's area around February 2nd. We're looking forward to his successful uh, exhibit. We started uh, Viva Florida this year in Miami. Uh, Miami, uh, the big orange celebration was rebranded La Gran Naranja. Uh, the Broward Navy Days are being rebranded as Viva Florida Broward Navy Days and the Spanish uh, not-for-profit is bringing over one of their tall ships. Uh, we're, they're going to be conducting uh, Ponce de Leon landing reenactments around the state. Uh, the old Florida festival in Naples is being rebranded. Uh, agriculture then and now in Bartow and more. Uh, celebrity chefs again this year. The James Beard House in New York has been rebranded uh, for Viva Florida 500. Uh, and again, the state fair uh, in Tampa. Uh, here's an example of some publications in Central Florida that are featuring on their cover uh, stories about Florida, Florida history, culture, uh, and the like. This is, this is also very exciting and, and an offshoot of, of what uh, Visit Florida has been doing and helping us. So if you're interested in more information, uh, uh, please go to our website. It's exciting. It's interactive. VivaFlorida.org. And thank you all so much for the recognition this morning. And thank you to all of our partners. Thank you very much. We'd like to... Uh, Come up for a photo. A little photo? Thank you. All of our partners would come forward, please, that are here this morning for the photo. Thank you.